to be back here, uh, waiting to go on in, in 25 years. It feels strange to do this thing after 25 years. It's, uh, uh, but, but, but it's cluttered strange because you remember so many things. You remember so many crises and so on. And uh, it's also strange to have it sort of working happily. <laughs> Or at least, I don't recall any fist fights and so on yet. <laughs> Paramount, uh, it's been kind of fun to, to do this for Paramount, too, because they've, they've done not a perfect job with the show, but they've, they've done a pretty good job. They've <laughs> We're going to have to talk to them about a few things they keep trying to do, but, uh, you know, it's nice. Um, what does it feel like being here at this convention uh, with all these people here that paid to come see you? Well, it's gone from the, the first was there were, there were, they said, we're going to have a couple hundred people at this affair. And, um, and shit, that, that was an exciting thing. Imagine a television show attracting a couple hundred people. And, uh, um, but they just kept attracting more and more and more. I, it, the, uh, the day I remember, we had gone to um, um, West Virginia, and they had a coliseum, and, and, and they had 25,000 people. And that, that, was, that was almost too much of a good thing. What's it like being here with all the people at one time, all the original cast members today? Yeah, that's a that's a kick. Uh, I saw I saw them all last last week too, and uh, it's a uh, it's a miracle to for any show to come back. Of course, no shows come back like ours has, and then to come back and and have the uh, the cast there too, uh, the old and the new. It's uh, and have them not fighting. <laughs> oh, it's good. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gene was and is the great bird of the galaxy. He made a difference. He not only changed the television medium, he changed the way people think and what they believe can be accomplished. He gave us our hope back. In creating Star Trek, Gene created a society of the future for our future, a moral society that embodies the best attributes of humankind. He gave us a vision of that future which contains no Armageddon, no cataclysmic end to civilization, but instead a better, more enlightened life for our children and their children's children. He said we're not perfect now, not by a long shot, but that we're better today than we were yesterday, and that we'll be even better tomorrow. He is the most original thinker I have ever encountered, and the most gentle human being on planet Earth this star system, or perhaps the known universe. I'm grateful to be his friend now as I was then over 25 years ago, and as I hope to be for the next zillion light years or eternity, whichever comes last. <laughs> Live long and prosper, Gene. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise and welcome the great bird of the galaxy, our friend, Gene Rottenberg.
you to, uh, I would like you to meet uh, my son, Gene Roddenberry, Jr. <laughs> Hey. Hello? Thank you. Well, you said thank you. You have said it. It's with you. It makes me. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to uh, uh, live with this. The, uh, um, it, it's an amazing thing to have so many people wishing you well. And uh, uh, having worked in television quite a few years, I've, I've had the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you enjoy the next generation, which we're, they're going to talk about at the, the next affair we have. And... Uh, yeah. But I, I really am too moved tonight to uh, uh, do much uh, other than uh, uh, say golf and you know, how marvelous it is that you do appreciate and, 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 and you do believe some of the things that we've tried to uh, talk about in Star Trek. Bob. Bob Justman uh, said it when he said, uh, um, really, uh, we're deeply moved by the fact that uh, you folks uh, care about what we've said, that you, uh, what? Thank you. May I just introduce one other person, uh, my bride and wife, uh, uh, Major Baird Roddenberry. Thank you, Bob. Uh, you, you set this up, and um, I could, um, I, I, my voice could break uh, now, but uh, a, a writer's voice never truly breaks, and uh, uh, a writer's soul endures in the face of adulation. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.